this recording, I'm going to go over real quick um, a box collider. Um, probably what you want to do is just create some boxes so you can see them and place them uh, before you go transparency, because once you go transparent, they're really hard to spot. Um, so all I do is uh, go to game object, create a cube. Um, simple as that. Um, this is a way I do it. Um, just really quickly in my games to prevent people from uh, going to certain areas of the game. So what I'm going to do is just, I keep them quite thin, and I'm going to put it near our uh, character so when we walk, we don't have to walk too far to kind of get a sense of it. Now, if I remember right, this is going to go near the end of the boardwalk, so uh, you can duplicate these once these are uh, finished, but definitely when you're setting it up, Make sure they're kind of opaque and then play it and then go back. So if we hit uh, play, you can see that it's working right off the bat. All right. So uh, one of the things is when you create an object like that, it already creates a box collider. Um, you can also just really quickly to turn off the material. Um, all you have to do is hit uh, this and it'll turn into uh, transparent. So let's hit play again, and we're gonna walk up to this wall, and you can see I'm just kind of crawling against it, so it's colliding, and we can see right through it. It's a really easy uh, way to create a, a box collider. So if you want to create more of a, a U shape or prevent it, so you can can't walk into the ocean too far, this um, just I think you can just hit Command D uh, or select the object and uh, duplicate it. Let's we'll go ahead and duplicate, I think. There's box one, there's box two. So you can see uh, that one is also uh, transparency. So like I said, try to set them up, duplicate them uh, with the uh, mesh on there. It's a little bit easier because once they're transparent, it's hard to see the next one. The only way you can really do it is go into your hierarchy uh, and hit uh, cube one, cube two, etc. So if I hit play, as I walk over, boom, we hit that. And as we walk over here, we'll hit, should hit the second wall. All right, so we've cr basically created uh, the U shape right there. All right, that's, uh, that's it for the box collider. and. All right, in this recording, we're going to work on a particle system. I think you guys wanted uh, kind of a cool little uh, water fountain uh, bubbling up water. So this is uh, it right here. Uh, this is what you'll end up with end of this uh, tutorial. Let's go ahead and take that particle system and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And we're gonna go game objects and we're just gonna go ahead and create a particle system. So you may wanna um, just really quickly um, make sure that's above uh, the ground. Well, we can make it, kind of put it uh, near wherever your uh, water fountain is. I don't have it uh, downloaded or imported in here. Let's go ahead and start staging the size of it. Um, go ahead and go through the tutorial and learn it, and then you can go back and uh, tweak the numbers to make it the size of your water fountain in your scene. Uh, these are kind of random numbers to get you started. Um, as you open up, you should be able to open up your inspector. If your inspector is not in this layout, it may be uh, around here and so forth. You can look at different uh, layouts and so forth. So your inspector should be right here. Um, as you turn on your uh, particle, you could, should be able to click on there. And if, if you see it's not working, you just click on to your uh, particle system and it'll start uh, working. Uh, so what we want to do our duration is I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at five. Uh, yeah, you could tweak these numbers. Um, this is just to get you started. Um, so we want our static lifetime. We want that at three point five, and then we want uh, our start speed at eight. And again, you can play around with these numbers once you get it rolling. Uh, start size, uh, 1.7. These could be a lot smaller, 1.7. Uh, again, this is just to get you started. 
and also gravity, uh, we want that at uh, 1 or 0.15. And again, this stuff can uh, be changed. Uh, we'll do 0.15 on enter. Okay, so just kind of leave everything else on. Uh, you got max particles, all that can uh, stay the same. So what we want to do is go ahead and open up our emission rate. And our emissions we want uh, at 100, not uh, 10. And you see here really quickly we're going to get a lot more particles. Um, this shouldn't slow down your frame rate. Uh, it should be pretty healthy. So we're going to do 100. Um, our shape. And our time, burst, and time. Particles, these are all good. So now we're going to open up shape. Uh, we want to keep uh, the cone, don't change that. Uh, we do want our angle to be uh, the same. And radius, I think we want to change that to um, average. Let's see, the radius we want uh, a 0 0.2. And our angle, we want a 6.6. .6. We want it kind of, now your angle, this is going straight up. You kind of saw mine. If you want it to kind of spray over a little bit more, you can do that. But I'm doing six uh, is pretty straight up and then it'll kind of bloom out. But th these are the numbers that you can play around with, 6.6 .6, and then also 0.2. I am also going to do a rotational speed. Um, let's go right down here. That rotational speed. Let's go back up here. Rotational speed. Open that up. We want to click that on. And a rotational speed. We want. Uh, this is good. I'm going to type in one. It's going to give you a 0.99. That's fine. All right. And then we want the color of a lifetime. So you kind of have to dig around here and look at these. Color by speed. Color of lifetime. Go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go click on here. We want this to end up as an alpha channel. So you want this white and then just go to alpha channel. So as this is going out and it's going to end up its life channel, that it'll turn uh, transparent. Okay, so we're almost done. So just make sure you have your alpha channel uh, set up and then we want to do a force of a lifetime. So again, it Takes a while to get uh, used to uh, finding these for force of a lifetime. Let's see. Right here, make sure that's clicked on. And just click on it, open that up. And on our y, y axis, this is X, Y, Z. On your, X, on your Y axis, make sure that is negative two. And you can see it'll just kind of go off uh, on a tangent right here. Uh, because it's on a local axis, so we need to make sure this is on a world axis. So bam, right now we have kind of a look of our uh, waterfall. And again, we don't have any material on it. We'll change that in just a second. So I'm going to stop here in our second uh, tutorial, show you how to do materials. All right, in this recording, we're going to go ahead and work on our particle system here and add some uh, foam to it so it looks more like um, a water fountain. All right, so we're going to go to uh, our materials. I'm going to go ahead and right click and uh, in this area and hit create a uh, material. All right, so this will give us our default. I'm just going to call it water underscore fountain. Call it whatever you want. Uh, now I'll go ahead and select that and set a standard. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create something uh, different with this. So, uh, particles, uh, additive soft, and right here it'll change it to that, and we'll, finally we'll drag this onto um, our form here. So we're going to select uh, our texture, and we're going to type in uh, foam right there, and there's our simple foam. Just click on that, and that's what we want on there. So we're just going to drag that onto here. And now we'll click on it. Hopefully we'll get to see it. And so there is our uh, final foam. So you can kind of see as you get up close. Um, 
kind of like these uh, particle systems uh, working uh, as our water fountain. So again, you won't be able to size this up. You'll have to do it numerically, depending if you want this smaller. This is quite a large uh, system. We can see our uh, trees are quite small. So you'll have to go back into your particle system and uh, make these numbers smaller, uh, depending on what you want. So hopefully this will get you started on your water fountain. Uh, and good luck.